Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a full screen section. So this is what we'll be designing in today's tutorial. I'll be using Divi, and by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites using Divi and it costs $247. If you buy it using uh, my affiliate link below, I will give you that course absolutely free. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get designing. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So we can name our page whatever we want. So I'm just gonna call this test two and then click on use Divi Builder. So for this example, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. Right, so what you wanna do here is this first section here, it's, uh, it's irrelevant, we don't really need this. So we need to come over here, click this plus button and click on full width. So this is where now you get to choose your full width um, sections. So the one we're going to use now is going to be a full width header. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. So as, when it comes in, in fact, let me snap this over here to the left. So when you first see this, it has this uh, color here in the background, but of course we're going to customize this and make it full width and use our own designs. So over here, I'm just gonna add some subheading text. So this is just your you know, normal lorem text. And then over here, I'm just gonna get rid of all this because I want this page to act as a landing page as well. All right, so on the top here, uh, you can add whatever title you want. So I'm gonna say, ride with the best. Okay, so that's gonna be my main title there. Now over here, you can decide whether you wanna have one or two buttons. So I'm gonna say join um, join now. And for the next button here, I'm gonna say log in here. Okay, so th as soon as you start typing the, uh, the text here, the button then shows up. But if you wanna get rid of the button, all you have to do is to just get rid of the text and then the button goes away. Right, now what is also important here is to make sure that you add all your button links because if you leave them as they are, they will not link anywhere. Okay, so you wanna come over here to link and then for button one, you add your link. So I'm just gonna add a blank one for now, like that. But in your case, you want to make sure that you link to a page which uh, has the information that you need. All right, so now that we have this, the next stage is to come over here to the background and add a background image. So I'm gonna click here on this third tab, click this plus button, and uh, I'm gonna choose this image here. Now it's important that the image that you use has to be large because if you use a small image, it will not look nice at all. It will look very pixelated, okay? so. Ideally, you want to use a 1920 by 1280, and uh, this can be, you know, in pretty much any design you want. So I'm going to click here on upload an image. So as you can see here, it doesn't really look nice, and um, this is not full width yet. So the next stage now is how we get to make it full width. So I'm going to click here on design, and then I'm going to click on layout. So you see this button here, which says make full screen. This is what you need. So I'm going to click here on yes, and now you can see it's full screen. So what we're gonna do now is, for now we're gonna save, and then I'm gonna come back over here and delete this section here on the top because we don't need it anymore. So now you can see that our design is full width. But to make it really look beautiful, uh, let me show you what you need to do. So I'm gonna click here on um, the gear icon to go into my settings. So right now this text here is quite difficult to read. We can't really read this. So ideally we wanna make sure that this background image here has an overlay. So I'm gonna come over here on design, click on overlay. So I'm gonna start with black, okay? So the trick here is to click here on this eyedropper tool and then drag the slider down a little bit to, uh, to reveal this image in the background. So you can see here as I'm dragging this down, I can now see this image here in the background. So you can go as far as you want as long as you know your text is good enough to read. So I'm just gonna leave it here at uh, 0.83. Now it's time to customize this text because we need to make it look nice and big. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to style our text here. So we're gonna start here with this heading. So I'm gonna click on this brush tool because this takes us directly to the settings of that heading. All right, so over here, we're gonna make this all caps. And uh, we're also going to choose a different font here. I'm gonna go with Poppins and then I'm going to make this text size even bigger. Okay, so we wanna have it nice and big. In fact, here, instead of having it as regular, Let's have it as bold. And then over here, we're going to add some letter spacing. Mm, 
Actually, maybe not. Doesn't really look nice. So let's leave it as it is. Okay. So now that we have it as this, now let's go to the description text. I'm going to click here on the brush tool as well. Choose my font. I'm going to go with Poppins. And then we're going to make the size slightly bigger. Okay, so 22 is okay. And then we are going to add some line height because as you can see here, this is way too close. So if we add some line height, it makes it easier to read. So I'm going to leave it at about 1.6. Right, so this is looking great. Now I'm going to come all the way here to the top as well and uh, we're going to center all of this. I'm going to click here on this little button and then we're just going to center the whole design. So the next stage now is to go in and customize the colors of these buttons. So to do that, we're going to click here on this brush tool one more time and this is going to take us to button one. So I'm going to come over here to button one and then I want to style this button. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a color here. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's go with white. So on the text color, we're going to make it black, but the background color is going to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and add my white there as the background. Uh, now I don't need the border width, so I'm going to get rid of it. And then we're going to uh, style the text. So I'm going to make it all caps. And we're also going to change the font here to Poppins. And um, for this, let's make it semi-bold or medium. In fact, let's go with semi-bold. Okay, so that's looking better. So if we need to, we can always add uh, an icon here, but I'm just going to leave this as it is. So now that we have this, the next stage is to customize the button 2. So I'm going to come over here to button 2, use custom styles for button. Uh, and this time, we're just going to change the color of that one. So... Um, for the text color, let's make it white. And for the background color, let's go with this red. Okay. Right. So now it's time to customize the font. So I'm going to come over here one more time. Click on Poppins. And uh, we're going to make this semi-bold, just like how we did before. All caps. And then we're going to remove this border like that. Okay. So that's looking much better now. So we have uh, join now and log in here so these are the two links that we need and then we can just go ahead now and save so this is how you make a section full width so there's several ways you can customize this so this is just one of the options oh and one more thing that i need to show you if i come over here you know this overlay color we can actually change that overlay color to match um or to to be any color so let's say i go with this uh, red here if I just add a bit of transparency, you can see here that uh, it now has this red overlay. So you can do this. With, you can do that with different colors that match your branding. Okay, but obviously you want to make sure that this color here is uh, is not the same as the overlay color. Okay, so you can you can you know play around with this until you're happy with how it looks. And then over here as well, I'm just going to go back to black because I prefer having this uh, black here. So finally, you can just save, save the page, and then you can exit the Visual Builder. Now, as I mentioned, um, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my course, which is worth 247 absolutely free. Okay, so there you have it. This is how we, we design full screen sections. And don't forget, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my course that costs $247. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.